So WWDC is only a few weeks away and so I thought I'd delve into the features I want to see with iOS 15. And by the way, quick shout out to a good friend of the channel, Joe, who has made a comprehensive list of pretty much every feature you can think of for iOS and iPad OS 15. It's definitely worth a read, so I'll leave it in the description below. Right, so delving in, the first thing I want to see is interactive widgets. So obviously, like everyone else, I was glad to see widgets were finally a thing on iOS with iOS 14 but they were lacking a few features, namely the fact that they weren't interactive. Now this sort of defeats the purpose of a widget because honestly for me when I was using Android, I always used the music widget because I enjoyed controlling my music on my home screen. That is the purpose of a widget in my opinion because not only should it show you information but it should also act as a shortcut and should give you access to specific functions without having to open the application. And so I was pretty disappointed when the music widget literally displayed the song you're listening to and that was it. Why would I want to see what I'm listening to without controlling the music? Why would he not let me pause the music, skip the song, give me actual controls that are useful? So yes, that is definitely at the top of my list in terms of features I want to see with iOS 15. The next feature I want to see was something that was allegedly in the internal build of iOS 14, and that is a redesigned wallpaper menu. So in the leaked images, basically you could pinpoint specific shades from a wallpaper and use that as a gradient wallpaper for your home screen. I am a huge sucker for gradient wallpapers, so this would be an awesome feature to implement in iOS 15. And also I would love to see a feature that Google Wallpapers has, and that's basically the ability to rotate between different wallpapers in a collection. So maybe you have a collection for some landscapes, and then of course, Course, iOS can randomly go through them each day so every day you wake up to a new wallpaper I would actually appreciate that because I'm not a huge fan of having the same wallpaper for more than two or three days I like to alternate and so if iOS could do that for me that would make my life a lot easier talking about wallpapers and customizing I also want to see built-in theming options with iOS. So obviously there are workarounds to get custom icons on iOS 14. That was the craze for a while, but I found it pretty cumbersome to use since of course, if you click on the icon, it takes you to Siri shortcuts first before the actual application. So that kind of put me off from using it. And so if Apple could natively give us theming options with iOS, that would be way more convenient to use and honestly it's about time because I am getting bored of looking at the same icons every single day so let me customize my home screen to my liking. And so fingers crossed, we won't need any workarounds and Apple will allow for theming options natively with iOS 15. Another change I would appreciate is basically having the ability to place anything on the home screen anywhere. Because right now we are restricted to a grid and obviously with the widget, the spacing looks completely whack. And also I wanna say, why do we have text below the widget? Why can we not remove that, I still don't understand. So again, those small changes would be appreciated with iOS 15. So the last two features on my list are the major ones I really, really wanna see, and that is split screen multitasking and external links done right. So obviously split screen has existed on Android forever now, and I don't really understand why iOS doesn't have it because obviously most iPhones are large enough and powerful enough to do split screening. So again, why don't we have it? Please give us this feature. As for external links, what I mean by this is that you on Twitter and you see a link to a video you wanna watch and so you click on it, but instead of going to YouTube, it takes you to Safari. Why can't Apple fix this? This is an issue that bothers me 24 seven. So please again, fix this bloody issue or I'm gonna turn angry and I'm gonna come after you, Timothy. So you don't wanna see me turn green. Anyways, that's about it for my list, but let me know in the comments below, what do you wanna see with iOS 15? Anyways, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above about the iMac Pro. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.